Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now, we will discuss about the abnormal probe behavior detection by using the particle entropy. In this process, we track the human for identify the abnormal event in the overall probe. Here, we want to track the multiple persons in the own video range camera. Here, we use the several cameras for detect the human by using the normal tracking method. In this tracking method, we use the particles for track the human. In this, in this process, we generate the particles and then we assign the each particle and the each person in the video and that the particle will be movement based on the foreground movement. Like the human will be movement, the particle also movement the direction and also the velocity of the human moment. In that moment will help to identify the entropy of each particle. That entropy of each particle will be help to identify the whether the probe is normal or abnormal. In this process we use the GMM classifier for classify the entropy ranges. That entropy will be calculated of particle based on the moment of human and with axis and also the velocity and use that entropy to be easily calculated the abnormal event in the video. Now we go to process of our flow diagram. It is our flow diagram for our process. Now we give the video for input. Then the video will be converted to the frame. Then that frame will be preprocessed by the Gaussian filter. After preprocess, we subtract the background for identify the foreground because of we tracking the human based on the background superaction. After the background superaction, we allocate the particles for each foreground images. It is the RG tracking process. After the particle allocation, then we calculate the entropy based on the particle movement. The particle movement will be taken by the axis of the particles and also the velocity of the particles. That axis and velocity of the particles will be used to calculate the entropy of each person. After the calculated entropy, then we use the GMM classifier to find out the variations of abnormal and normal. First, we train the abnormal and normal entropy will be trained in the GMM classifier. Now, we give the input of the GMM classifier with the entropy and then that GMM classifier calculate the test entropy with the train entropy and it will be give the result whether our given input entropy will be the normal or abnormal. Now we going to demo of our process. Now we going to demo of our process. First open the MATLAB and then open the source code folder and then right click the main.dem folder and then run the file. Now open that dialog box, click the dataset folder and then open the any videos in the dataset. And then it is automatically convert the frames in the video. Now if we want play the video, then click one and hit enter. Then your video player will be open for play the video. Now it is for player for running the video. Now I run the video. Here the code will be there. At certain time, the growth will be abnormal. We detect that abnormal by using the GMO classifier and also the entropy calculation. Now, hit the enter to preprocess the frame. Now, the frame will be preprocessed and also it will be count the overall frame. Now, our input video, there is 100 frames will be there. After the preprocessed frame, the background subtraction is automatically generated. Now, it is our background subtracted image with each frame. Now it is the entropy calculation based on the particle tracking. After tracking the GMM classifier, find the abnormal in the probe. Now it is the comparison chart for existing and proposed work. Uh, our proposed work will be the nearest to 90% accuracy and also the our existing will be the 80% accuracy. Here is the accuracy of our proposed work. 
Now it is our output video for abnormal reduction. And then it is the particle movement and it is the entropy variations of based on the particle movement. And then it is the preprocess frame. Now I will go to open the another video for checking the process. Now I right click the main dot thing and then run the file. Then we go to the data set and select the any video from the data set. Now the frame conversion is done. Now I will hit the enter or directly go to the preprocessing step. Now here the frame will be preprocessed. After preprocess, automatically the background preprocessing will be done. And then it is the background preprocessed images. Then the particle will be assigned based on the background preprocessing and the entropy will be calculated here. Then it is find the abnormal code here. It is the final result of our post tour. The accuracy will be find out the overall process. Now our process accuracy it is the 97.2832% and the sensitivity will be the classifier sensitivity. It is shows how the classifier analyzes the result with perfect sensitivity weight. Now our proposed work sensitivity will be the 0.9%. The, the specificity also the specificity of our classifier and the error rate will be the wrong classification of our classifier. The result will be based on our future abstraction and also the classifier accuracy. Now we extract the future is very well and so and also we use the very perfect classifier for that future abstraction. So the, so, so that reason our proposed work accuracy will be improved at the 97 percentage and also the sensitivity of the classifier will be the 0 0.92 if you equal to 92 percentage. So that reason the accuracy will be improved. It is the comparison graph of both existing and proposed system. The existing will be the 86 percentage above equal to the 89 percentage. Now the proposed will be the 97 percentage it is shown in the message box. So in this graph shows how our proposed system will be improve its accuracy compared to the existing system. Because of the existing the tracking rate will be low and also the future abstraction will be low and the low sensitivity classifier will be used. So that reason the existing graph will be the low accuracy. Now the proposed will be the get uh, high accuracy for the future abstraction and also the classifier sensitivity. Thank you.